Hi, hello, I hope you're in fine voice. Got a couple of questions about acoustics today and they come from Nashita. And she says, can I set up a studio on my study table using a Rode NT1A microphone? Very good mic. And the second part of the question is, is an isolation filter important? Well, you can certainly have a mic on a tabletop and with a desk stand, but the problem is that you may have a hard surface. Chances are you have got a hard surface because of the tabletop. So you've got wood or metal or plastic or something there, and that'll bounce your voice back up. So the acoustics from your voice will sort of shoot back up into the microphone. So try and use some carpet, or you can use some carpet tiles, a little bit of off carpet, whatever and just sort of stick it to the uh, to the tabletop and that'll give you a really good uh, surface you can use felt as well if you've got it but anything to to dampen the sound is is really good now an isolation filter that's a different question and we tried one uh, some time ago in the studio and l l well let me show you in fact what what these isolation filters look like this is our student Aaron, and he was using this thing here, which is this big ball of foam, and it's called a, an eyeball, made by a company called Chaotica. And really what happens is the microphone, you can just see the XLR plug at the bottom there, the microphone fits inside this ball of foam. And then you put your, your pop shield there, and uh, you chat into it. And it's supposed to really isolate the sound so that you don't get any room echo and it, and it uh, contains the external noises. So the big question is, did it work? Well, we tried it out with Aaron, uh, listened back and it was good, but it didn't seem to be any different to the noise, the sound that we, we get anyway in the booth. Now you could probably tell from that picture that the sound booth is very, very well isolated and we've got lots of foam in there and so on. So it's a very good space to record in. My guess, and when I've read reviews of this eyeball online, my guess is that if you're in an echoey room, it really does make a difference. If you're in a well-treated room already, probably not very much. Um, there is a downside to that eyeball as well and that is that it's really expensive it's it's something like 150 160 pounds uh, to buy so it's as much as as your road nt1a nashita so maybe it's not it's not necessarily a, a a worthwhile investment depends on your space and you can get versions of that eyeball now uh, from other companies so they, they tend to be a little bit cheaper but worth checking out anyway all right, hope that helps. Look after your voice and see you next time.